Obey my command to protect yourselves at all times. Double chance, touch us. Well, make no mistake, by a long way, this is the toughest test of Tom Wellen's short career so far. He has looked outstanding to this point. A rich talent, much talked about. This is 13th pro round. It's Marvin Solano's 216th. As an amateur, Solano good enough to push Rabisi Ramirez to a split decision back in 2011. Two-time Olympic gold medalist, of course. And of course, Solano now with miles on the clock, but still very much live in there. Still tough, still very skillful. Wellen says he needs tests like this, needs fights like this. And who knows, with a fighter who's come to win, he might look even more explosive. Yeah, but when you come against an experienced campaign like this, you can fight. You've got to get the balance right. They're being assertive, but also patient in your work. Don't rush it, make mistakes. Everything's got to be thoughtful. Made his debut on our show in Brighton last November against Francisco Rodriguez. Looked excellent that night. And the Barry spoke glowingly about him. Stopped Esteban Church last time in Telford in two. Two stoppage wins in three. Still just 19. Look, look at wide distances. See where the power comes from, George. Yeah, well, wider, wider stance, solid base, and then that solid base to generate that power. Well, it's a sneaky left hook, but then Solano landed one of his own there to the mouth of Welland. Yeah, that's yeah, the Solano left hook. It's slow and it's long. You think it'd be easily avoidable, but he finds a hole. That's the second time he's landed to Welland. A right hand there from Welland. The knees buckled there of Solano. But they're gonna have survival into there, Solano though, just do just fire him back. And that's just a just to slow down the work there at Wellen. Wellen just needs to be careful here that he doesn't get too carried away. Well, those little moments of success because Solano firing back and then uppercut from Wellen. I think Wellen's shown tremendous control. Yeah, great control. So much experience and, and composure as well for a guy with only three belts. Still a teenager. Solano is throwing long, loose, dangerous shots at Wellen and he's just coping with it so well. Stiff jabs there from Tom Welland. A big booming right hand. Yeah, well, we see Welland there. He, he sort of dips to the right, dips to the right, and he throws that check left hook right on the button. Here he's threaded through a one, two. And then quick adjustment of the feet to get out of the range from Solano's long shots. Barry, you picked up on it. He throws like a really slow left hook, but it's a dangerous left hook. It's very stereotypical of a Nicaraguan type fighter. They do throw long, loose shots that don't necessarily look that quick, but they are effective. And when they catch you at the end of the shot, they have a lot of stacking power in them. Talk about that Solano pedigree. He has lost his last seven and could have been stopped four times, but three of those four stoppage losses have come in those seven fights. He's certainly a fading force for all of the pedigree. But what you saw was his survival instincts. When he got hurt, he threw in volume just to try and slow down Wellen. But I thought Wellen was controlled, as you see there, picking his the shots really well, not getting too drunk on his success. Hitting the target, waiting wait to see the response before he throws the next one. Now Wellen thinks and Wellen says that he's going to look a lot better against fighters who aren't simply journeymen, 
who come to fight. Now that is often the case, especially someone who appears to punch hard, like Welland does. You want them openings, you want people to punch back, you don't want them to be too negative where they're just not leaving them openings for you to land your heavy hands. A big dig to the body there from Welland. And then as Solano just overcommitted the right hand. I love this fight for well end. There's, there's, there's a little jeopardy attached here. I think, I think Solano can bang a little bit, but also he's keeping well end honest, isn't he? Making him work for every opportunity. No, absolutely. And he'll finish this bout. He'll go back, watch the tape, and he'll be studying it, and he would not want to get hit with one shot. And if he's not switched on, he will get hit. Like he just got caught there with that right hand over the top. He took him well. But Solano punches long and loose, as we say, like, he's a danger. You had to the body there from Welland, and then that right hand to the body, mixing up that jab really well. What a confident talent he is. And for 19 years of age, the composure in his work here. Look, he got power, I mean, good shot. So when he lands with a good shot, you you would forgive him for his age to be just go mad and you know through loads of shots. Welland with a right and then a left hand. Again he starts to open up. And that comes with jeopardy, of course. Yeah, he's throwing caution to the wind here. Well and he doesn't really need to do that. He took a couple of shots. Couple of right hands from the Nicaraguan landing. That's only going to give him confidence. He's the experienced guy in this ring. Couple of old man tricks there as well for Solano. Barry's already said it's not a fight without jeopardy this for Welland and we saw that yeah, yeah and it is that right hand isn't it that right hand over the top it's, it, it was the, in the earlier round the first round is a long left hook and in the second round it's the, it's the long looping right hand and he has that the rhythm punch the South American punches but by by trade really a rhythm punches so they they look they don't look the fastest they don't look the cleanest they have a nice smooth movement to them which means they they, they whip at the end they get all that power on the end of the shot Will Jones there with Tom Welland. Now Welland says that he watched Solano get knocked out in three by Jorge Chavez on a Golden Boy show last September. And he wanted to do the same. And here we are, into the third. That was a lovely block there. From well, and he just it wasn't even that. I don't know why I mentioned it, I just thought it was really clever. He threw the jump side and just blocked it with the right hand. <laughs> left hook there from Welland, and then just off balance. Oh, shot. Oh, he felt that there, he felt that. He's hanging on there. And just backing him up here, trying to look for an opening. Just goes on, just guys, there's a tackle over here, Welland. Little feint, or did the legs. Yeah. There were sharp counters that he, the Welland lands at the start of this round. Definitely hurt Solano, but now he's pressing it. He, he may be better off just giving himself a little bit more room. Solano will punch, that's just his nature. He got back to trying to catch him with that sharp counter. 
There's a right hand and then a left uppercut from Welland. Blood to the nose of Solano here. He's just hanging on now. But sometimes you can get drawn into sort of almost a 50-50 fight at this stage. Like when you're the better fighter, you don't necessarily need to sit in the pocket is the expression we say. When you're right next to each other and it's almost tit for tat. Solano has not stopped coming forward here. Trying to smother the work of Welland. But like a lot of punches, George. In boxing with the confidence that if I hit you first, you're gone. Welland. Yeah. Lovely shot there from Welland. And again, a little smile on Welland's face here. He's gone back to that sort of catch and counter. Or just a quick, a quick slip or a dip and shoot. I think that works much better for Welland in this round where the sharp counters are coming when he... You know Solano's gonna punch, you know the hands are not as quick as yours. Stick with the sharp counters. And land them heavy shots. Another great round for him. Raul Lopez there with Marvin Solano in that corner. Face marked up now, of course. Fascinating given his career and his experience to find out what he thinks of Welland afterwards. Another better perspective than anyone. You know, he respects the part because he's, he's, you know, he's, he's adapted, I think, to try and make Welland you know, smother his work a little bit. So. He certainly knows he, he, he can punch a little bit, but I think well, and, you know, this is a fantastic learning fight for him. See, yeah, he's landing his shots that would normally have fighters, if not on the floor, in a panic, and this is not happening tonight for him, so he's having to adjust. I don't think he, I don't think he's panicked much, well, and, and I think that's very mature for such a young man. Talented family as well. His younger sister Ella defends her national schoolgirl title in the next few weeks. Watches my big brother extremely proudly. <laughs> Lovely variety with a the jab there from Helen. Will always go overlooked when he shoots jab to the head, jab to the chest, and then he comes out like it's a jab, but he bends it around the side. It's a lead left hook. He's showing a lot of class here tonight, a lot of experience, way beyond his free bout record. There's a lot to appreciate about him. Well, he just boxes with a kid with loads of belief. Oh, look at this. Lovely work. And he looks to her and he looks to be spiteful with everything that he does. Even, trying to play with him there, but he's having none of it. But, but even that there from Weller, he didn't, he didn't land clean with the jab, but he's seen the gap and he went for it with 100% committed to that left hand. With the acceleration in pace. We're seeing something different from Weller this round, pressing off the front foot. Hook there from Welland, and great to see how full the York Hall still is at this time. Another booming left hook, and Solano responding. Pressure in the energy levels from Welland, though, just relentless here. I think you've got really good vision as well because when loads of stuff's happening. He, always, he never panics, he's always looking for the target, he sees a little gap. Every time he makes a mistake, Sal, well and sees it and, all, and, and goes, for the, goes for the clear space. On 41 of 45 in the amateurs, well and extremely well schooled. A lovely jab. A 
Ryan doubling up that jab again. <laughs> little stumble there from Solano. down very heavily on his stool there, Marvin Solano. Yeah, it's getting to that point for Solano where probably the safest place for him to be in the ring is trying to wrestle with Weller on his chest. Because that round, Weller's now starting to back him up. Solano tried to box, catch him fire off the back foot, but that's hard to do when the guy in front of you has got momentum. And he's a heavy-handed fighter. George, I think the point that you made, you said Wellens still pressing on the front foot. And that put a different pressure on Solano. And I think he's tired, but possibly because of that. Two rounds to go. Tom Wellen with... Love to make a statement here, would love to get this fella out of there. But an enormously impressive display so far. That's lovely that is. Just only, only just dipped the legs and he just took away the target. And then came back with a really solid left hand. Yeah, he started beautifully with this round with that, that lead jab. Just take his time now, well, and the shot will come. Doesn't need to rush it, doesn't need to try and force that right hand. Just keep touching the guy in front of you. That heavy jab. Sooner or later, that big shot will land. Solano started to feel this. Slowed significantly, starting to grimace. And a touch of UFC 300. And he has to take a point off. Beginnings of a guillotine choke, that was. There's no place in a boxing ring. Well, and catches him again. And the legs were just unsteady for a moment there. Holding on for dear life here, isn't he, Solano? <laughs> Left uppercut from Well, and Solano responding as only knows how, really. But Well, and backing him up. And again, Solano holds on desperately. That's a lovely bit of footwork there from, from Wellens. I think she's trying to lean back left hook, so almost like get your right shoulder to the right shoulder there of Solano and then lean back on the left to get a bit of leverage on the shot. Great combination again there from Welland and these are hurtful shots. And then he digs to the body. The rotation when he throws out when he throws the shots, Welland's fantastic. When they land, Solano looks like he's just about to wilt. And then he either punches back or grabs on. Survives the moment and comes again. See how packed it still is in this grand old venue. Very well supported fighter in Welland. And a very, very popular debutant in Christian Fetti. Well, it was inevitable. He's been told already for, for holding on and stuff, but this is on the back of the neck as well. Really pushing down, playing to the crowd and 
I think the point might be academical anyway. I don't think it'll be it might really have a factor in, in, in what goes on in the contest, but still. The work. The lovely uppercut there for Solano, but it was a, a fleeting moment in what was a another dominant round there for young Welland. It's a good shot though. So, showing a good chin here as well, the young the youngster. In all honesty, Solano's done well to survive to this point. Every trick in the book from this very game Nicaraguan. What a good step up this has been so far from the man they call Atomic Tom. Football's loss, very much boxing's gain. Talented young player, but fell in love with this sport. I think he's brilliant. I think he's potentially brilliant. His balance is fantastic. As such a young man, he understands where he needs to be, his body, he rotates in every shot. He's patient in his work. You know, for, for a young brain to, 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 to do all that, Yeah, Solano's no slouch. He certainly is not someone you can take lightly. You have to have that boxing ability to be able to not just break him down, but to control him. And he's also showed, as you said, Barry, in the last round, he took the odd shot, and he showed a good chin, and everything just bounced off of him. Shows the mark of a really good fighter. Do you know the, you know the real mark of a good fighter? Never panicking, whatever's happening, whether you're having loads of success, you don't get the, oh, oh, I'm going to knock him out. Or when you're hurt, you don't panic too much and you compose yourself. And he, I think he might have that. Bear in mind, it's worth reminding people he's 19 and this is only his fourth pro fight. He does look to be remarkable. I, I turned pro at 18. By the time I was his age, I'd had six fights. I was nowhere near as composed as this. I, I know that for a fact. Approaching the final minute here for Tom Welland. No sense of safety first for him. Still looking for the finish. Still looking to land those heavy hands. Solano's immense credit, still he comes forward. Chopping left hook there from Welland. Just staggered Solano momentarily. It's like a buzzsaw, Welland. Never stops. Well, he wanted a test against better opposition this early, and he has responded magnificently. They're going to rise here now to Tom Welland. What a talent. What a future. Great, great entertainment there from Atomic Tom Barry. If Tom Welland goes on to win a war title, He'll come back to this moment and go, that was the fight that I learned more about myself than any other up until this stage. I, before I boxed for any title, this was the fight I learned so much about myself. This was the fight, the best learning fight you could ever have. But this so early, this, this is too early in his career, I think, for a learning fight like this. But I think he's such a potential star that I think it was the right fight for him. I think that was a great learning fight. He had to take punches. He didn't panic, he landed a great shot, he controlled everything, that was brilliant. Well, they're going to call Tom to the centre of the ring. Let's get to Paul, who is waiting here to give us the, uh, the verdict here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Scoring referee Mark Bates decides this bout. After six rounds of boxing, he sees the contest at 59 points to 54 points in favour of the winner, still undefeated from Whitford Essex, Atomic Tom Wong.
Wellen moves to 4 and 0. Oh. A name to watch for the future, quite a future.